Truth Grow, an innovative agricultural educational entertainment roadshow. So educational, but also uh, fun to watch, presented by Urban Grow and Truth Black Agri House. Now, passionate and diverse youth founders uh, with the company dedicated to sustainable food security. It's often deemed as one of those topics that unless you're in the sector, unless you're in the industry, it's not really your problem, but I can assure you uh, it most certainly is. Let's uh, speak to Megan Wilson, project developer and management training facilitator uh, on this as well. Megan joining me on the show. Hello, Megan. So well done on this, by the way. There's so much great work you guys are doing. First of all, why take the educational on this topic and make it entertaining? Where's the thinking? All right, so I think most of us learn through um, education, which is obviously the educational part of it, but entertainment, making it fun for literally anybody to watch. And that's why we got these three segments, that is educate, elevate, and empower. Mm. But most importantly, for the entertainment part, for the young ones, um, we want to captivate our audience, but ultimately also give the message of, you know, sustainable farming, etc. What sort of platforms are we talking about here? Educate, elevate, and empower. Where are you finding this content, or where does someone wanting to get the content? Where do they go? Okay, so the platforms that we generally use um, is obviously going on roadshows, which is to schools. Mm. That's one of our platforms. And the other platforms that we have is a facility. So it's basically coming to us, and we taking you through um, what we do on our farm, um, which is an aquaponics farm. And then obviously we also have the permaculture, so it's literally touch and feel. And I think that's how most people learn, apart from you know reading a book or theory. Mm. Uh, it's very early to be throwing big words like that out at me, Megan. I've only had three cups of coffee. Aquaponics and? Aquaponics and permaculture. Okay, I think some people have an idea of what aquaponics is. We've spoken about that. What's the second one? Permaculture is basically direct planting into your soil. Okay. So it's it's normal farming. We say um, the olden way of farming. The olden way we of farming. We would say the olden way you of farming. You just gave away your age <laughs> on this one. I, I was waiting for you to say in the old, in the good old days, <laughs> I think is where we were going with that. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's great to have. Now, you see, now I get to be slightly uh, rebuttal on that. Uh, the younger people, the younger generation, I do, is there a lot of interest in this? As you say, you're doing these road shows. Uh, what's the sort of human clickbait that you're getting or people wanting to, to come and find out more? Okay, so I would start off by saying, Gareth, uh, most young people have this very vague perception mm. of agriculture and farming. I mean, for us, it's either you in this blue overall on the farm, sweating to the brow and working, you know. And when we go out there and we actually explain what opportunities is available for the youth, um, how we can be incorporated into any other sector that you're already working in, we need... Um, for example, your influencers, we need lawyers, we need marketing, we need all those sort of things in this industry um, to make it sort of full circle and to create value, you know, for it. So when you go out there and you give um, youth, more, more especially, these sort of examples as to how it works and what, what we do on an everyday basis and being youth yourself, you sort of get such a positive feedback because mm. they're like, aha, they're sort of able to picture themselves in the agricultural sector because you're not just a farmer. Mm. And it's just like part of the value chain is being a farmer, but that's not the end all and be all within our agricultural sector. So it's literally now changing the face of agriculture. Uh, how long has this been around? Uh, the reason I'm asking the question, uh, Megan, is are we starting to see uh, the seeds that you've planted in the minds of the youth boys. See how I threw that one in there. Uh, are we seeing people coming through this and actually going into this job sector? Um, for me personally, yes, I have um, because I've worked with a lot of NPOs and done training myself. So I've seen a lot of people grasp the concept of farming and sort of take it, whether it's homestead, whether mm. it's um, small holdings, or whether it's just literally practicing the sustenance and sustainability method. Um, there's a lot of people that's coming through and really becoming more avidly interested in farming and more so because of our economic status. Yeah. I mean, people are trying to save money, save around here and there. So they're obviously now going into their back gardens and putting their hand to the plow and growing their own food. Yeah, because they are, you can start something small like a home garden. We've had stories before down in the Western Cape, Kays and Inland Popo, really just about everywhere. Uh, they then start having small scale farmers providing to a local market. They then get bought out by a bigger chain store. Suddenly you have a massive farm. So you do have the success stories as well. I want to pick up on one thing before I start saying goodbye to you. Tell me about this biodegradable 
a cup. What is that about? Okay, so biodegradable cup is something that's made out of materials that's able to decompose in the soil. Um, so for example, when we give you a seedling on our roadshow, we put the seedling, which is the plant mm. that's already sprouted, into this biodegradable cup. So when you get home, you're able to literally dig a hole and then put your dig a hole in the soil let mm. me be more specific and mm. put that biodegradable cap it will then decompose and become organic matter with the ground and your plant will gradually grow from there so it's basically doing the job for you you just got to find a hole in the ground and throw some water on top yes you basically couldn't, you couldn't have an easier way of doing <laughs> it but it's one step possibly in the right direction somebody might be thinking they want to do this one day if they do there's someone watching now you spoke about the the road shows for example someone's watching this they want to get hold of you they're interested they want more details uh, where do they go hit me with the socials I think is what you okay youngsters. so let me hit you with the socials I'll give you our email <laughs> our email address which is truth um, truth black um, with a V in the U and a V at the A, so that's truthblack at urbangrow.co.za. Uh, that's where people can get a hold of us. Our socials is at urbangrow or at truthblack because we have sort of created an ecosystem mm. and a partnership between um, two companies. So you can always go and check at truthblack or at urbangrow on Instagram. And yeah, a message to the youth guys, opportunities is created. Um, so please go out there and create your opportunity. I just want to leave them with that, especially in such sectors. We always wait for something to yeah, happen. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I think in the economy that we're living in, the times that we're living, youth needs to go out there and create their own opportunities. The pie is big enough for everybody, but more especially even in agriculture. Um, there's so much space for everyone to sort of come and thrive in this sort of industry. Yeah, it really is as well. And to uh, use the uh, cliche again, if you plant the seed now, if you dig the well, you'll never get thirsty, but you've got to start doing it uh, now. Megan, thank you very much indeed uh, for you coming in to join us this morning.